Hi, welcome to the EEV blog, an electronics engineering video blog of interest to anyone involved in electronics design. I'm your host, Dave Jones. Hi, I thought we'd quickly check out a uh, solder paste dispensing machine. It's an automated dispenser. Don't confuse it with a pick and place machine, which is totally different. This doesn't place components. All it does is place solder paste, paste, place solder paste onto a board. Now, if you check it out here, this is the Jig. It's a uh, Martin brand. It's uh, made in Germany. And uh, these are the fixed uh, test jigs, but the board can basically be any size which fits in here. And you'll see that these little clamps are just magnetic clamps like that, that you can actually uh, set your board onto in any position, any position you like really on this panel. And then it's got control software over here and you set up uh, the you, you set up the reference points based on the based on the fiducials on the board, which that's why you put fiducials on there. Not only for the pick and place, but uh, if you've got a machine like this which automate automatically dispenses the paste, then you've got to have those fiducial marks. So you set uh, usually two opposite corners like that, and then it knows where the reference is, and it knows you import the uh, paste file, and it knows where to dispense the paste. Now here we've got a standard, um, and that's actually a camera, it's a USB interface uh, camera, so it treats it as a USB camera device and that's what it uses to uh, find the fiducials and actually visually align stuff. And then we've got the uh, paste tube here which has different size, uh, different size attachment nozzles for it and there's an air hose uh, system which hit over here which is used to actually dispense it and it comes with over here, a companion, what is this, Faming? It's a, uh, it's like a, a, a compressor um, kind of thing or a regulator. compressor, a, a pressure regulator controller and because this is only a temporary uh, setup, we don't have a factory um, air system, we're actually using just an, an air compressor here running off the main, so it gets quite noisy when it's actually running, but this is what you need, you need a compressed air source to actually control this thing. Now, it's um, actually, if you, if you look at the mechanicals, oh, there it goes, see it's pretty noisy, but if you look at the mechanicals here, it uh, really is quite simple, it's just an XY, um, XY dispenser and the pace can actually move up and down as well, um, but it just, uh, basically just an XY plotter table with a pace dispenser. Pretty darn simple, but this, if you have to ask the price, you probably can't afford it. And if we just take a close up look at the machine here, you can uh, see the nice, uh, there's the uh, stepper motor for uh, mm. that direction there and around here is one of these uh, flexible uh, cable um, uh, guides that uh, travels with the with this arm up here and there's the other stepper motor up there and it's it's pretty simple, there's a, there's a uh, valve uh, regulator there for the pressure, it's got a control board up the top there but as you can see there's not really much uh, to it. There's another stepper motor down there and uh, there's not much to it at all. The only thing that comes out is the uh, paste itself. You just uh, lift that out. It's got a little o-ring and there's the air hose. You want to do that for me? Can we take that out? Awesome, there we go and there's our little paste uh, tube and you've got different size, um, different size attachment nozzles. They come in little uh, jars here like this but um, one. Yep. That's the type six, which is the finest one. You can oh, that's the finest paste. Okay, so they come in different uh, grades yeah. of solder paste. Yeah, on the uh, bottom yep. you can see the the size of the paste. Five to fifteen microns. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. They're the, they're the little individual solder balls. Yeah. I guess a five to fifteen microns each. Yeah. Fantastic. But apart from that, it's a pretty simple uh, simple device really. Your board can be placed on there. It's got a couple of these uh, fixed locations, but if you wanted to, I guess you could drill custom jigs in there and stuff like that. But these little magnetic um, uh, board holders are really quite neat. And pretty simplistic machine, but it works and it's very high precision, very well engineered. And of course it's important to store the paste in a fridge. So we've got a companion fridge to it as well. And these are the individual uh, paste uh, tubes which then you attach and you have to clean the nozzles as well but these must stay in the fridge they must be kept at a constant temperature otherwise they will go off and I think they probably have to stand on their end too I'm not too sure but uh, 
yeah, that's an important part of any uh, pick and place machine or any uh, reflow solder process. And it actually comes with uh, CAM software as well as the uh, solder paste control um, software and alignment software. And this is where it's like a, it's like a Gerber um, CAM um, actual software. And that loads your board in like that. That loads in your uh, Gerber paste uh, file, which your um, PCB package will actually uh, output that. And you load it into this. And you can either do individual boards like we did here, or you can do the entire panel. Um, but it just uh, it's pretty flexible software, but that's what you get when you um, flexible and powerful software you get when you buy these really high priced uh, paste dispensing machines or a pick and place machine. And of course the um, application it can read in the uh, paste file directly from um, Altium Designer or any other uh, program, but you need to convert it into its own uh, format up there, its own file format. It's a dot linear. Um, a dot liner uh, data file and that actually converts it into its own format so it can control the machine. So even though this machine is pretty uh, simple, it is quite expensive and high-end because the resolution is very large. They claim it can actually go down to um, 0105 uh, components, not just 0402, which is what we're using on our board. They're the size of the 0402s. Can do 0105 or 020. Oh, sorry, 01. Yes, uh, 005. I think it is 0201s, and that's the resolution that it's actually uh, capable of doing. So even though it's incredibly simple, but um, there's also a problem when the components are too close on the board. If they're actually spaced too close together, um, even though it's capable of that sort of uh, resolution, um, you will have problems on your board and well you might have to clean it and start again or it may just not be possible to uh, actually solder paste dispense that board at all and you may have to use a traditional um, uh, solder paste uh, solder paste stencil approach to uh, doing, doing the paste. But uh, there's an automated uh, paste dispensing machine for you. Okay, that's the camera on the screen. That's the camera looking down at the board, down there. This little, there's a little USB camera on the side. It's just a USB device, and there's the paste dispenser, and we're just aligning it up, ready to dispense the paste. And if you use mouse controller, yep. uh, click on that, you can see the step size has been changed. Got it. So you can move to... Alright, so we've chosen that pad down there. Normally we'd choose a fiducial mark on the board, but we've just decided to use a pad for the purposes of today's experiment, and we'll select that as the reference point, and let's go. And we're going to select the second reference point up there, which is LED number two. Do it. Okay. Set our reference points. There we go, it's just doing a test. And it's dispensing the paste onto the board. It's uh, hard to see. Sorry, I can't focus in any better than that with this camera. But uh, trust me, it is putting the paste onto each individual pad. And then you can place your components and put them in the reflow oven. Neat. Yeah, that's there we go, now we're doing the BGA. That's the fun part. There we go, you can clearly see the pace being dispensed. Whew. It's pretty noisy when the compressor's running. There you go. You can clearly see the pace being dispensed onto each BGA pad. Isn't it neat? <laughs> I love it. And correspondingly, you can see on the screen here, the ones that have already um, been done are in purple and it's in process until it completes the board. I like it. It's really neat. And you can see the paste, which is uh, only, we stopped it halfway through and you can see the paste is dispensed onto those pads there. 
on the BGA pads and the individual ones as well, but they're a bit harder to see. They're 04, 02 components on that board, so pretty darn small. And there you go, we've got our, uh, our board with our solder paste dispensed onto the individual pads. Now all we need to do now is take this to our pick and place machine. You've got to do that pretty quick, probably under an hour, otherwise the paste uh, just dries up or does whatever and it's no good anymore. So you've got to rush this over to the pick and place machine, which is already pre-loaded, pre-programmed, and you just uh, need to set the reference uh, marks again, and then it places the components. Interesting. See ya.